What's up everybody? Today is opening day of the Missouri rifle season for 2020. I'm excited. I'm on public land. I'm working my way back to a place where last week I had a really nice uh, 9 or 10 point come to within 9 yards of me bow range, but he was facing me. He had all kinds of limbs, so I couldn't shoot him. But anyway, uh, I've got the same exact wind that it was this that day, so the wind's going to be blowing that way i'm working my way i've got about a quarter of a mile walk then i'm gonna slip in there there's uh my dad is hunting somewhere over here and then there's some other hunters probably a quarter of a mile down but other than that like i haven't seen any hunters no sign of hunters no vehicles or nothing like that so should be really good i'm gonna get down in here real quiet get up in my saddle and it should be a really good afternoon. I've got the rifle with me today and uh, should be really good. Okay, I just got in here. Behind me, 100 yards is the river, the slough. Right here, about 20 yards from me, is a rub and scrape line that that buck was using the other day. My wind is blowing this way, and as you can tell, it's real thick in front of me. So this is the tree I'm gonna get in right here. I'm gonna go up to about, you know, 12 feet or so, something like that. The reason I picked that tree is because over there is the river. Right here is this point, and that deer is going right down here. But right here, it kind of opens up, see this slough, or this high water slough? My thought is, is those deer will come right down this edge. A deer is a creature of edge. They love working the edge. Down here, that's downwind. That's the way the buck came from the other day. So they could come, you know, or I'm sorry, that's upwind. They, they could come from that way, but my wind is blowing this way. So I'm expecting the deer to come from this way. I'm set up on the back side of this tree facing that way but that doesn't mean they can't come from behind me this is a beautiful spot i'll see you once i get set up in the tree i just got set up it's a real pretty spot here's my view from up here Should be pretty good. John Eberhardt always says that his best, most successful hunts are in the rain. Hopefully that proves true. I'm not big on hunting in the rain, but got my rain gear on. It's opening day. I mean, what do you do? You can't kill him from the couch. So hopefully uh, I smoke a big one. Got good news. I don't know if you've seen it or not. I tried to hit record. I just shot a really big buck chasing a doe and I'm standing right here at the blood looks like there's all kinds of good stuff lots of it a lot of it both sides a lot a lot a lot of blood looks like good good lung blood to me mark it on my onyx to uh, mark this blood trail so here we go all right. all right a lot of blood I think I see him oh yeah a lot of blood Hello. I've got him right here. He's down. He's dead. Yep. 
Yep, yeah, I'll uh, just, I don't know, I haven't got to him. Uh, give me a, a call, or are you close to me? Whoop! You hear me? Alright. Alright. It looks like an absolute murder scene. He's a good buck. Uh, it's the buck I had at last week at me on full draw. A big, nice 10 point. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope that it was on video, but here he is. Really nice. Big, big buck. Oh, yeah. Beautiful deer. Look at that. Big old Missouri public land buck. Big 10 point. I am pumped. Oh, well, thank you, Lord. Ah, yes. All right, here he is. Beautiful 10 point. I uh, shot him, he was chasing a doe. I don't think I got it on film, but he came in and uh, that doe was running. He was right behind her. I tried to stop him. I like tried to mat at him and ch -ch -ch or whatever, and he just wouldn't stop. So I uh, shot at him. He was about 100 yards. He was just kind of trotting, and I hit him, you know, right behind the shoulder, right where you want to. But uh, beautiful deer, and uh, I'm really excited I got him. So thanks for watching. If you hadn't already, hit the subscribe button. Thanks.